Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another Top 5 Tuesdays for you and Mona and I decided we were going to do eyeliners this week. We haven't talked about eyeliners yet. Surprise, surprise. So if you're interested in hearing what my top five all-time favorite eyeliners are, then just keep on watching. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle. I do a Top 5 Tuesday series in collaboration with the glam Dr. Mona Khan. I will link down to her channel in the description box. I'll also link to her video for this week as well. And if you're interested in checking out our other Top 5 Tuesdays, I'll also link to my playlist that I've created of all the Top 5 Tuesdays that we've done together. So this week we are doing eyeliners, any kind of eyeliner. So what I decided to do was basically kind of just narrow the feel down to kind of like pencils or liquid eyeliners, things like that, um, because I often use eyeshadow as eyeliner. But I didn't want to talk about that because that just would end up being too huge of a category. So we're talking about um, straight up eyeliners. So I want to start with um, my favorite, I want to say for at least the past couple of months, a friend of mine introduced me to them and these are the Tom Ford Eye Coal Intense um, pencils and they're just regular straight up pencils. You sharpen them, it's a wood barrel. For a while there I really liked these and then I moved over to like the, the twist up kind of gel liners because I thought oh that's so easy I don't have to sharpen them but I found that those dry out way too quickly. Um, the, the actual um, like crayon of it just becomes too brittle, it breaks, it cracks. I just really haven't had great luck with those kind of eyeliners so I prefer the ones where you have to sharpen. Um, so anyway, so that's what these um, eyeliners are like and I just absolutely love this formula. It doesn't smudge and I have a really hard time with eyeliner smudging so I, you know, have not come across many that kind of withstand an entire day's wear and while these by the end of a very long day I'll see a little bit of like smudginess under my eyes, like along my lower lid here, much, much better than any, most any other eyeliners that I've tried. So I have this in a number of different shades. I don't even know if these are all of them. I think these are all of them. I have Metallic Mink, which I love. All right, so here is Metallic Mink. I'm gonna try and, and draw a big enough swatch there. I'll zoom in um, so you can see that. So it's basically like a rich brown color but there's a little bit of a metallic sheen to it it's so so pretty so this is what I kind of reach for on an everyday basis it's brown you know it's not quite as stark as black so I just love metallic mink I also have metallic moss which is the same idea but with a green base and again so so pretty right there underneath metallic mink it's um you know a really rich green but it's bright enough that you can see it when you put it on just really beautiful and this is actually what I have on today this is midnight which is a really beautiful navy blue it has it's not exactly flat it's not quite as metallic as the metallic mink or the metallic moss but it's not flat there's definitely a little bit of like a satin sort of finish to that pencil so I love these colors and I love this formula very very much next up are um, Eyeliners that I've talked about definitely in the past. These are the Ardency In Monster Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner, and I have it in black and coffee. And oh, this one needs to be sharpened. This is the same deal as the Tom Ford. These are pencils that have to be sharpened, and these two colors are just flat matte colors. Um, there's no metallic to them. There's no sheen. There's no shimmer. So I like these if I'm going for kind of like a a more straightforward look, if you will. But the color is so opaque, the pencil is so creamy, it goes on so easily, and then it sets down, but not too quickly. So if you wanna kind of smudge it out, or soften the line a little bit, it allows you to do that, and then it sets down completely. These, just like the Tom Ford, barely smudges on my eye. I mean, I have to have them on for like a very long day, and then at the end of that very long day, I'll see a little bit you know, underneath my eyes here, um, and that's it. So I really, really love these. I got these at Sephora. I don't know if this is still sold there, and I never ever hear anyone talk about these. I actually got these off of the recommendation of Jaclyn Hill. I was watching one of her videos, and she was raving about these, but I don't know, it never really seemed to catch on, but I got them on her recommendation, and I absolutely love them. And then next up is uh, something that I just mentioned on my channel, something I hauled. 
I want to get a video up for you guys on the products that I purchased from this company and I just haven't gotten a chance but I wanted to mention them here and now because I have fallen in love with these crayons and this is the LH Cosmetics, the Linda Hallberg um, Cosmetics line. So I purchased the core crayons and then um, two packs of the different like flash crayons which are basically um, like metallic kind of finish crayons. So wonderful. So this is one of the core crayons. This is just in um, brown, I think. And you can see how dark that is. It glides on so smoothly. And these set down almost, almost to a fault. Like I, I can't even just color in one eye at a time and work it. I have to color in like one part of the eye. And like if I want to smudge it out, smudge it out and then a little bit and smudge it out. Maybe I work slowly, I don't know, but I definitely have to work very, very quickly with these crayons. But once you kind of get the hang of it, they're amazing. They really, really don't budge. Um, so that uh, is one of the core crayons. And so the core crayons came in this little um, case here and it comes with, I believe, six different um, like basic colors you could call them. So there's like gray, a uh, grayish brown, there's like a, um, like this light core, which is, it's like a light lemony yellow. And that could be really interesting if you're doing some maybe editorial work. I've just come to really, really love these crayons. And then the flash ones, let me just show you. Let me just show you the bottoms because you'll see all the different colors that I have here. So this was two different packs. I think I got two five packs and they, these are just so much fun. There's, is this here? This is Spar Flash, which I think is very, oh no, this is the one that's a little bit darker than Metallic Mink. And these have a little bit more of like a glitter to them than the Metallic Finish Tom Fords. Um, the Metallic Finish Tom Fords just sort of have like a little bit of a metallic sheen to them. These actually have like little itty bitty glints of glitter in there, like micro glitter in there. So these are a little bit flashier, um, but that is Spar Flash. Here is Ova, Ova Flash. Is this the one? This is the one that I think is very close to Metallic Mink. Here is Ova Flash. So these crayons are gorgeous. You have to check out this one. This is Ori Flash. This is like a gold one. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So I've been playing around with these. I do want to get a video dedicated to these crayons. And I also got the Metallic Mysteries palette and I wanted to do a video on those. So once I get my act together, I will um, put up a video on all of these like LH Cosmetics stuff because I think they're pretty amazing. So anyway, um, those definitely belong in my top five now. So the LH Cosmetics um, Core and Flash Crayons. And then I have one liquid eyeliner on uh, this list, and this is the Surratt, I think it's like the autographic eyeliner, but I absolutely love this liquid eyeliner. This is another one that no one talks about, but the line is so fine. It is so easy to draw with this tip. It's a brush tip, but you have so much control over it. It's just awesome. I love the line that it makes. Um, it's opaque, it's black. It dries down to like a matte enough finish. It's not like matte, matte, super dry looking matte. It just looks very natural. It just is a really, really rock solid liquid eyeliner. And I love this one. This is my favorite one by far. And I don't use liquid eyeliners often. And this, um, I believe this is, if I remember correctly, this is like a cartridge. So you can get a replacement for this. Um, I think this whole thing kind of comes up and out. Yeah, it unscrews and it comes with like an ink cartridge. And so you um, you only need to buy the actual outside pen case uh, once. Um, but I love this one. And then last but not least, um, this may be a surprise to you. I haven't mentioned these in a very, very long time, but the Inglot um, AMC eyeliner gels, the gel eyeliners, these are the ones that come in the little pots. I have 77, which is the black one. I think everyone knows about 77. And this is basically, it's basically what it looks like. It just looks like a pot filled with black pigment. It is, um, 
I mean, this will never budge. This you draw on, it sets very quickly, and then it's even hard to wash off. So it's not an eyeliner that I use often, but if I'm like serious, like if I'm going out all day and then I'm like going out at night, this is the eyeliner that I'll use. I was very, very intimidated by these, and I really kind of held off on buying them for a long time, and I thought, you know, just get one. They're not terribly expensive. I think they're like 15 or $16 for a pot. I thought, just give it a shot. And it really wasn't, it was definitely was not any harder than like using a liquid eyeliner pen. Um, you just have to like load up a brush and then you just swipe it on. It's really not, it's not bad at all. If you're intimidated like I was about these, don't be. Um, and then this is 96 and this is like more of like a metallic brown. And I think I need to add a little something to there because those two big lines in there, those are cracks. So this is definitely dried out. And this I did buy before the 77. So this one's a bit older. But this is like like a metallic brown. I like metallic brown, obviously. So um, so this was this is really lovely. So I really like these um, Inglot gel liners. So that's it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, that was so fast. So those are my top five favorite eyeliners. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know down below what your favorite eyeliners are, especially if they're pencils and they don't smudge on you. I it's like, it's like this weird obsession of mine to like try eyeliners and see if they smudge. And generally, I think outside of these three that I mentioned, yeah, like outside of these three that I mentioned, they smudge within a couple of hours. So let me know down below what your favorite eyeliners are and I will see you in my next video.